All right, so I'm out here in my shop today. I'm trying to do a Briggs and Stratton Intec to a Col a Kohler swap. The Kohler, it's a Kohler Command 20. Putting on a Briggs or a uh, Craftsman LT 1000. I think it's about like a 2003. And um, I just got this lawnmower a few weeks ago. I paid fifty dollars for it. And uh, something up with the motor on it. I'm not 100% sure the motor that was on it. It's a uh, Riggs and Stratton Full HV Intec. And uh, kept making weird noises and stuff. Sounded like it was going to blow up. So I just took it off. I don't, I don't really care for Briggs that much. And I... Uh, Got this lawnmower over here. I just made a video on and took the motor completely off of it. And uh, this this muffler pipe right here didn't work. It kind of hits the frame, so I'm not going to be using that. I got um, some muffler pipes off a ten ho off a, a ten horse, um, a twenty five horse Kohler Command that I bought for ten dollars. So, these right here the two muffler pipes to come off of it. I think it's sort of like a Craftsman DYT4000 the engine came off of. It threw a rod and it seems to be a common problem on like the right cylinder just to throw a rod. There was something wrong with those engines when they made them. But I'm working on wiring this one up and everything. Just I just took the old key switch out and put it here. I got the choke right here just coming out the side. Yeah, I'm going to eventually put it to the, put it on that one. I haven't hooked the throttle up yet, but I plan on it. It's just a wiring mess down in here. On this lawnmower, though, you can go with, I think, about any engine. A Kohler, Briggs, maybe even a Kawasaki. Because it's got, like, ton, it's got a ton of different mounting holes, but it'll 100% uh, work with a Kohler Command of like any type and a Briggs and Stratton Intec and a V-Twin probably at that my neighbor's got one that's got a 24 uh, 24 no 23 horsepower uh, Briggs and Stratton Intec is the same as this one and I got my uh, my got like my my buddy he um sold his lawnmower off and I got, got his deck from him so I'm putting that on here I mean this is only 20 horse but should be better than that old one. Here's the old muffler right here off of it. So I'm gonna try to cut a hole right here in it and stick it up in here. I'm sure it'll fit, it's just I gotta get the mounting side right. I gotta get the mounting side right on the right on uh, this side of it. But um that's my plans for this one. Everything fits almost perfect except for like, like I said, like the wiring and stuff. Like putting the engine on. This engine was set up with like a manual, like a manual, like a uh, engagement. So it's not really a problem on that. Even the one off the off the Briggs and Stratton, it fit it fit perfectly on it. So no problems there. I'll, I'll try to post some update videos on this when I get it all done and going through on this one. But yeah, hope hope to be mowing grass with this one soon. If you guys want, here's the engine numbers and stuff on it. If you maybe need it for yours or something. Well, that's going to conclude today's video. See you guys later.